Hi right, guys, welcome back to Starfield, starting episode 7. Uh, yeah, we're still on Earth. We um, Last episode we came here, we're on our way to the moon actually, following the main quest. And we um, stopped by Earth because we had a link to the um, London landmark formerly known as the Shard. So uh, we went out and had a look. We also did a little bit of scanning on Earth. I didn't find anything at the London landmark, but actually it turns out according to the comments that uh, there is indeed something there to be found. So I think I'm going to take a little tip back there and see if we can't find that thing. Um, the other thing is that uh, I had some info on how to completely scan the planet. So I may spend a few minutes just scanning all the resources on the planet. Um, I will do this off camera, but I just thought I'd get it done while we're here. Um, in the meantime though, let's have a quick look at the mod list. Um, the mod list has not changed, I believe, since the last episode. Many of these mods have updated. They did do an update to Starfield since I last played, which is about a week ago. Whenever they update the EXE, it also breaks the Starfield script extender, so I had to wait for that update. Although in this mod list, the only mod that's using the script extender is the back achievement enabler, which is, you know, who cares about achievements anyway. I don't really know why I have that. I just figured I'd put it in. Uh, but yeah, so far, none of the other mods actually use the script extender. So we, you know, we have a long way to go with modding Starfield. It's going to be a real journey. Um, yeah, Star UI updated. Uh, better HUD. Oh, one thing I should mention is that I, um, I did turn off NPCs use ammo because last episode we found that basically we ran the robots all out of ammo and we were able to uh, cutter them to death, which just seems a little exploity. So until we find a way to max out enemy ammo so they have enough that it's a, you can have a reasonable firefight before they burn through it all and, and go melee, um, I think I'll leave it on for now. But we can look into that as we go. So I'll check back with you guys once I've um, been over to the tower again and uh, scan those resources. All right, guys, so I did a circuit of the... Uh, London Monument here, the Shard, which is looking pretty dark right now, actually. And I did find this here. So we've got the London Snow Globe, uh, valued at $195, so really not worth a whole lot. Okay. That's good news. Um, looking at the uh, resource situation, I need to still find silicon trihydrochloride, I guess is what it is. I don't know where to find that, so I've seen chlorine a lot. So I'm going to look around a little bit more, but I'm not going to kill ourselves looking for this. I'll meet you back at the ship when we're done that. Okay, it turns out I hadn't found water. So there we go, water's knocked off. So it's going to be mercury now. Okay guys, after walking around for hours, I finally found it. The elusive mercury. Five for five. Resources surveyed. Okay, earth survey added. Cool. All right, guys, so we're going to have to pull back. Oh, check that out. That looks kind of cool. The shard is now illuminated, strangely, from the moons behind it. A little unclear why we're getting that. That shouldn't be, but it does look still cool. Anyway, guys, let's go back to the ship and let's get the heck out of here. All right, so we're back in the ship. Let's take off. Still looks so cool. Uh, there's the new skybox. I don't mind it. Uh, okay. Whoa. Back in space. So yeah, I think the problem I had when I was in space before was I couldn't recognize the continents, but... That could just be that there's no oceans. It's making it a little on the hard side, but I'm not recognizing like any what apparent landmasses there, but... I did do the um, 8K... Uh, planet overhaul or whatever so you know depends on how those were generated it could be that they generated them in such a way that it didn't preserve the planets like if they're the uh, the continents if they did it with a neural network or something that could do it so we're going to the moon maybe let's let's head over i love this space to be though this is really cool does it if i Oh, that's insanely cool that you can move it. What about this one? Oh, guys. That's awesome. Oh. With this little one here. Oh, those are attached? <laughs> that's interesting. That little buggy, but still super cool. 
I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, guys, let's go to the moon. Okay, so it's apparently they're going with the Marsification theory of Earth that the uh, the magnetic field ceased and that caused the atmosphere to bleed away, but not 50 years. I mean, I think it took at least hundreds of millions of years for that to happen to Mars. So 50 years is, is what you would call more than a geomagnetic disaster. It's a major problem. Um, it's weird, too, that, you know, Starfield's taking the stance that I guess maybe we did solve the atmosphere problem. I mean, at the rate we're going now, we're going to destroy the atmosphere before it gets bled off into space, you know, according to some geological process. So it's interesting that that wasn't what took us out, but it was within 300 years. So I suppose we solved the um, the CO2 problem and we solved, you know, conservation issues on Earth. But then, unfortunately, the geology of the planet changed and we lost our atmosphere. So that's pretty dramatic. Uh, forget about finding, I want to walk on the moon. Yeah, I do kind of want to walk on the moon. We're definitely doing that before we leave. Let's see if is in that Take starter. Weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging. Okay, most star stations can be docked with. Yep. We know that already, sort of. All right, so yeah, the moon looks cool. It looks really cool. Um, let's get there. So, so far, like, nobody around, though. It's quiet. I'm assuming it's going to be a gunfight then on board. Wait, so if I go to full speed and then I do this, I look around, come back, it drops me back down to normal speed, which is strange. Oh, and now we're going back up. Weird. That's a bug. I would call that some kind of a bug. Okay, we're coming in hot. down a little. On some of them, a little like put off that space flight is so car-like. Uh, you basically have drag, you know, like if you don't press the gas, you slow down. And, uh, you know, in space, you have to fire retro retrograde to, to slow down, so. Just really cool. Alright, let's dock. I suppose I should have hailed first, but... It's probably hostile, so let's not let them know we're coming. I just want to do this the slow way. Okay, we can't see it, okay? All right, Sarah, let's go in. Let's check out our weapon situation, so. So wait, it's B? Okay, we've got everything kind of on the on the thing, I think. We've got an extra Grendel. Probably gonna wanna drop that, actually. Let's drop the, uh, let's give it to her. We still need to find, want to see what I'm carrying? Because now she's got no NPC ammo issues, so. Um, so transfer to container. Let's transfer the, the spare Grendel. It, to me, it looked like more than one thing got tr transferred there, but okay, just the spare Grendel, that's it. So we're 129 for 145. It's pretty heavy still. Uh, got a bunch of mines. Well, well, 
two mines, a fair bit of ammo. Now, what's with the trade thing? Oh, I transferred a category of item to the container. Yeah, sorry guys, I still don't really know how this works. Okay, I've got a lot of junk. It's not that light either. Stolen. Oh, we'll try to drink all that stuff. Talk to you later. Actually, old star yards and other abandoned stations we'll in space guard, are always worry. home to personal hey, questions. Fine. Go ahead. Uh, do you like to do anything fun? Exploration is my entire life. Yeah. That being said. I okay, I'll keep it Before secret. I graduated from she was school, in a band, not a rock uh, band, though. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name. I... And before you ask, no. She was drunk. The band okay. never really went anywhere, of course. But... Yeah. Areas of expertise. Mm, apart from... Well, let's see. Optimal trajectories. With... There we go. And as far as planetary exploration, ah, botany. my okay. area... Of... Religious beliefs. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened but their lives by the time i was old enough to start questioning these it's not that i don't want to believe in anything it's that as my in the enlightenment mind is often at all having been out there in the star field seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes i need answers not i'm uh -huh. sorry if that disappoints you okay no i'm, I'm good with that it's Fair weird because the star field the thing about the star field is that like Bye -bye. It's empty, you know, like you're out there in empty space. When you look at the star field, it's like you have to be close to a body to have any anything. You know, the rest is vacuum. So, I mean, it's being at planets that gives you the the sense of After meaning. After you, Captain. Alrighty. Let's load up these. Get everything loaded up. Sorry, I should have done this in the craft. Okay. Loaded. 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 Money for that, and then the old 45 caliber pistol, and the cutter, good old cutter. Yeah, let's go with this thing, I guess. I like this pistol a lot. Two steps in, and we're all credits. A kraken. Wait, what's it? Do we have a kraken? It's a pistol. It's a really bad pistol. Um, what shoots? What shoots 6.5? The maelstrom. It's just better. Okay, we'll get rid of the Kraken. Okay. Unload it. It's We're gonna have a lot of gear here. here. I'm gonna have to figure out how to put stuff in our inventory. Yeah, so we can do I forgot about this. Toilet paper. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with the space crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. Spacers. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. Sounds familiar. Sounds Fallout esque. It is cool in here. The interiors are great. Hammer. Ooh, it's a spacer. Spare maelstrom. Uh, combat knife. Let me let me give it to her, just in case she decides to use it. I gotta figure out how to give her stuff. I can't get around that. Okay. I need to talk still to you for need a second. To find, if you have any gear, you want Yeah, I do. So she's got a, oh, she's got a combat knife and she's got the Grendel. Okay, gave her the Grendel. That's good. Good, good. So let's give her the, the Kraken uh, trade. Okay, good. Okay, I see now. Uh, we've got two Maelstroms. One's better though. Let's give her the other Maelstrom. Might have maybe wanted to unload it, but oh no, no. The favorited one is loaded. Okay. And she has a combat knife already. Ooh, it's 500 bucks. I'll keep that. Maybe another time. Okay, unloaded stuff. Let's go. I gotta pick this. Be back in a sec. All right, guys, I got it. But it was really hard. It took like 10 minutes. Um, and not particularly interesting, I would say. So I think what we might do is, um, there's a mod that does auto pick, I think. Oh, I'm happy just to pay, ooh, Urban Eagle. 
Um, I'm happy just to pay Digipix to get in. You know what I mean? Like, I, I kind of like the Skyrim uh, Fallout lockpicking more because it was a game of physical skill as opposed to just endless time consuming, you know, iteration. Because that's what I'm seeming to have to do with these. I mean, maybe there's more technique to it, but I'm just iterating, basically. It's, it's sort of like blind search. Okay, storage crate. The Star Roamer, minor utility. Outfit and utility jacket wear. I'll try. I'll check those, but I think they're going to be dumb. Uh, let's see. Packs. So I got the Star Roamer. It's a boost pack. It's not as good. A little bit more EM and fit. No, let's get rid of it. Let me. Can I give it to her? Like, is she going to wear this thing? Old Star Yacht. Glad to haul, was it? Um. I don't know, we won't find out, I guess, okay. until later, but... Let's check the outfits. UC Marine. Clothing. Oh, I've got a lot of clothing here, guys. I'm I'm wearing the streetwear. Okay, minor utility. Minor utility is better than cyberwear, because it gives you extra stuff. Okay. Let's get rid of it. We'll see if she wears it. The Hustler outfit. Better energy resistance. And the space trucker hat. Let's get rid of it. Let's see if she wears we that still stuff. Need to find any sign. I doubt she will. Off a few. Oh, I can't even... I can't even give it to her. Never mind. Okay. Bye. Yeah, see ya. Let's drop this stuff. Take the one. Okay, I'll save a little bit of weight. And we got a really nice weapon out of that by the looks of it. It was a, um... The Urban Eagle. Wow. Nice. Let's favorite this. I guess number seven. Sweet, guys. It's gonna do some damage. I mean, heck, let's just try it out first. Alright. Onward. Actually, you know what? I better scan this room with the... Okay. Oh, interesting. That was like a... Might not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. There's a gunfight happening. Udon. Let's just let that fight happen. What's right there? Somebody knows we're here. that fight unfold. Okay, who's that? Looks like a pirate. Can't open that? Okay. Deep mining spacesuit. I just want to quickly check that. It's worth a lot of money, though. Let's give it to her. Old star yards. I'd be happy to get. She won't take it, will she? Ha. Huh. Oh, sorry. Let's that was free. I mistook this guy. Sorry. Getting used to this stuff. She will take it. I could have given her that other stuff too. Oh well. Sure, we'll have another chance. Goodbye. Nice. Killing going on. Let them fight it out. While I loot. Take credits and stuff. The logger. I mean, we've got lots of it. I mean, we have so much food, right? 
They still have to put that in as the auto eat function because honestly, it's just getting ridiculous. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna take any more logger. We've got enough. Some of the stuff though looks good. Ham boys. Like, look at this stuff. Spiced worms. Let's just go for the, uh, the ammo. Meal packs. Battle meal is probably a good thing. I should probably just be taking high quality food at this point. Seaweed snacks. We'll get in a fight, guys. Nice. It's like they finished each other off. There's so much food. I don't stock up on junk. It's credits. all this stuff. Oh, she's using the Grendel. Cool. Okay, let's let that play out. He ran. The loot. She's going to be carrying a lot of... Another egg. Another one? Oh, here we go. That. Ooh, did some damage there. Let's get rid of some of this food. Drink a lager. Wow, the food really does nothing for health, eh? Sixteen health. The, the alien meals are good. Battle meals are good. Ham boys are good. We got med packs. Snake oil. Let's try a different weapon here. This looks good for close range. Let's try this thing. Randall. Does it? Show me what These guys are really moving up here. We get it flanked. He does not have the stopping power I want. This thing. Pose him. Target down. Wow. I got my butt kicked there. Gosh, guys. Got myself in a bad spot here. Let's heal up a bit. I don't think I can shoot through the fence. I 
hit him, I think. He hit me, though. Guys, look at this. Okay, time to use um, a heart. Let's use the Grendel. Oh, the laser thing's pretty good. Let's try this. That was cool. The Grendel. There's the Grendel. for a grenade or something. Pin in the bathroom, guys. Let's do some looting. That was pretty epic, though. I can see that we're gonna have too many Grendels. The old side star. Okay, that was a lot of them, I think, eh? Okay, let's go clean up down here. Caseless. Yes. Oh, grenades. That would have been nice. Ah, shotgun shells. Oh. I guess it's going to be the laser weapon. Something's gonna be accurate, it's gonna be a laser, right? Just one sec. Came back. Okay, so, yeah. That was messy. Oh, there's a couple more. Bunch of them over there. I think we picked up some frags. Yep. Here you go. All right. So loot time. Um, these equinoxes are valuable. Have anything valuable? Ah, you're a damn really? More of them? Navigator space helmet. 
take a look. There's a lot of get, a lot of gear to sort of work through. The deep mining helmet. Oh, interesting. But this one, Star Roamer's got all these bonuses. It's legendary. It's not as good for defense, but it's got better accuracy. I like it better. Let's give her some stuff. Weapons. So let's give her Equinox. Equinox. Whole bunch of them. A Grendel. All right. And now that she's got unlimited ammo, we're good there. Okay. Bye for now. And let's take some. Have to take some meds. I mean, we can eat everything we ran into, but. much that heals I think food's instant heal so it's not much at all it's like negligible almost which makes it like you shouldn't take food it would seem oh cool the logger does damage resistance okay let's start pounding those all right let's let's finish our loot out here see side star it's worth a lot of money though Gosh, there's whole rooms in here that we could search out. Yeah, so I think what what folks were saying is that, ooh, it's good, is that we should you should basically be able to eat straight off off the table and just convert it into um, health points, right? Because right now, stim packs, med packs, that's the only thing. Although I think we can sleep and uh, fully recover so we may want to do that try to find a bed and just ground crew space helmet nope whiskey okay here we go side star some ammo ammo is always good bunch of bodies let's take the equinoxes and the grendels when we run out we'll, we'll dump them It's a big spot. Okay. Pilsner. So I guess I'm taking booze, right? So before every big fight, we should pound booze. Weapon rack. Right, guys so we're back in it that was a lot of looting i had to search through many many you know desks and containers it was very uh detailed so let's drink some of our pale ale dark lager they shoot they can't shoot through the window can they should think not. Drop an inferno mine here. Don't run down there mistake I think I did it she just about killed me there okay I think we need to take another torch here to get rid of that White wine. 
Persuasion. Where's the reserve? Solomon's reserve. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. Oh my god. Clear. Got one of them. Bring it on. I think there's a whole lot more of them. Oh yeah. Really just stripping the health off me here. So that the damage is real. I'm burning through my med packs like crazy. And they are pretty strong. Oops. That's a cool fire effect. It's gonna keep burning. That's cool. That was cool. The top of this guy. goes back up. I'd love to have a shotgun. Red sticks, a whole bunch of them. Okay. A wooden duck. Zista. It's a rare item. Uh, copper and argon? I'll, I'll leave that. Yeah, that's to go somewhere else. Let's go try to clear this place. Tell me, I... Heart, we need that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's go back and get into that battle. How did he take all that? How? Guy's invincible. He's not. More of them. There it is. Let's drink uh, a couple med. We're almost out of med packs here, guys. Last med pack, guys. Better take a. Better take the. Uh, the heart too. Why are these guys so strong? 
special grand door. Took a ballistics level. That's gonna do him. Nice. Wow, guys. Okay, so that was really, really hard. I guess, kind of in a good way. But it certainly was. Took us close to the edge there, in terms of everything. We burned through everything. So I'm gonna go through and loot all this. We took a level two, which is, you know, a good thing. So guys, we found a new pack, a new um, jet pack. It's slightly better maybe than the Constellation. It's got an O2 boost and slightly better EM and energy defense. No, oh, it's, it's heavier though. It's kind of borderline, but um, I think I'll take it. I'll give her that one. And we did find another Grendel. This Grendel is not as good in the sense it doesn't have the same add-ons, but it has, um, it deals more damage and all that. So yeah. Actually, one thing I should check is that there was one Grendel we had that had all these add-ons. I don't suppose spacesuit workbench, weapon bench. So let's see if we can tear this Grendel down. Uh, modify. Well, let's try this one. Standard barrel. Oh. Let's do, um, let's take the reflex sight off. Optic. Okay, and let's go back and modify our our good one. Wait, this is the Grendel here. Yeah, it's furious damage. So let's give it a um Okay, so this is more, yeah, I think maybe we don't want that. It's currently got a long, oh, we could put a long barrel on it. Accuracy, with control range, and, and longer to aim. What am I missing? Oh, I need all that stuff, okay. So maybe I can't put any of these on it anyway. Uh, okay, give it the long barrel. Of a gun modification. Let's put on an optic. Reflex sight. Yeah. Oh, really? We need close silence. Darn. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so now I'm getting why you need all those resources. Um, interesting is what that is. Okay, so. Huh. Interesting, we also found a Deep Seeker spacesuit, which is a fair bit better than the UC Marine. I think we're gonna wear it. 
Actually, uh, I'll give it to her. So, this is just a regular Grendel. That's the one with Tech Barrel, Laser Sight, and Tactical Grip. It's pretty cool, actually. We'll give it to her. We're going to use the Furious Grendel. Now we're underweight. That's good. Until later. So let's put on the old uh, Deep Seeker space suit. We've got Sistef on. And let's put the Grendel on. Four. Nice. So this is the Grendel. It does iron sights, unfortunately, but it special okay so here's where you can sleep let's sleep for seven hours wow. you are the nice we got the well rested it's good picked up a UC security uniform which is heavier, but everything's better about it, and it gives you intimidation, so let's do it. A Grendel. Some good stuff about it, too. See, some of these Grendel... Oh, there we go, a shotgun, finally. Excellent. Yes. Okay, let's check the shotgun out. So, we've got... Another Grendel, yep, but the shotgun is the Coachman. 62 damage, caseless shell. You can mod it out, it's pretty cool. Let's um favorite that. We never use the rescue axe, right? So let's just, and frankly, the cutter's kind of getting a little bit useless at this point, but let's go nine for the shotgun for now. There we go. Serious looking. This guy didn't make it. See if they've got any weapons or ammo. Yeah, I'm stripping them for that stuff. All right, guys. So we pretty much looted it out, I think. Let's do this um, quest here. So, Vanguard Moira asleep. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship, and I'm heading to them to... Going oh. to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. Alright, so he's off to Neptune. Um... Much better odds destroying one of their ships. I'm trying to remember now. I feel like maybe we had to go to Neptune for some reason. So, that could be good. I think we had to go to Triton. So, it's kind of taking us along the way. Um, I'm going to do one last circuit here, guys, to make sure we're looted out. And then we'll hit the road. Catch up with you when we're done with that. Oh, and it occurs to me we need to take a, uh, a point. So, um, to my pointed out in the comments that we need to take piloting in order to, to use certain um, new ships. So that's definitely gonna be on, on our radar. So we can do Lockpicking's pretty tempting, though. Um, expert locks. Yeah, I, I'm tempted to do this because it's an important like, looting part of the game. Just invest in lockpicking. I think we'll stay away from the, the combat traits. Persuasion, we still have to do some speech challenges. Um, you know, who cares about that? Stealth? Okay. Sneak attacks, we got to do some more of those. Oh, carrying capacity. So we already did this. We could do a second one to get more carrying capacity. Tempting, but our mule's working out pretty good. I think I'm actually going to... Okay, since since Tomat indicated... Okay, so there's security. The reason I'm bringing this up is that right now there's a lock right here. It's an expert lock. Okay, so there it goes, guys. We have to do it. 
Because I don't want to come back here ever. So let's do let's unlock the expert locks. Yeah. And we'll do this loot this thing out. See you in a sec. Alright guys, I got it. It was hard. But I sort of fumbled my way through it on the first try. Lucky. So let's loot this out. Let's see what we get for our extra skill point. Ooh, messy in here. Microsecond regulator. I don't know what that's for, but. Okay, some junk. Bandages. Shotgun ammo. Ramen. Medical injector. Okay, so it's like the med lab. It's a spacer, guys. It's a spacer. Well, I'm sort of wondering whether that was worth a skill point, but those expert locks are going to be in our face for the whole game, so... Pay some money is always good. Weapon rack, where? That's the weapon rack. Oh, yes. The coachman. And it's another coachman. Let's take it, and we'll, uh... Try to unload it somewhere. Yeah, so she's carrying a whole bag of weapons. All right, I'm gonna continue looting this out. Hey guys, we found a spare in here that was still still alive. He took four shotgun blasts. Well, I suppose they're not going to need it anymore. I want to say I'm like, I'm glad sort of that we came back here because there's more stuff, but. Search and rescue key. I don't know what that's for. So we're facing a helmet choice. Um, the space trucker helmet has better defense and it has negative 15 damage from robot en enemies, which sounds good. But the star roamer helmet has, importantly, hacker two plus two max auto attempts that can be banked while hacking, which sounds kind of cool. I mean, hacking seems important, but it's it's less defensive. So it's definitely a trade-off. 20% accuracy when firing on the move. I don't know, it doesn't sound that important, but yeah. I don't really know what to do with this. I think ultimately I'm gonna wear the space trucker. I don't know if I could just put give her the star roamer or something and kind of hold on to it in case we have to hack. That might be what I do. Looks like it's Neptune. Give it Bye to her. Bye for now. Okay, so I think we're cleared it out, guys. Let's rendezvous back at the front. All right, guys, we're heading out. Back to the frontier. I'm going to have to do a huge gear dump right now. Alright guys, so I just did a massive, massive dump of stuff. I'm down to 64 of 145, so we're doing great for weight. Um, I dumped about 20 weapons. She's light too. I was carrying around ship parts, which were huge. Um, I'm assuming that we can use them from the cargo hold. I really hope so. Um, but yeah. So that's good news. And so there we are, guys. Next episode, I guess we're heading to Neptune. Let's do a quick check of the, the missions. So we got to go to Neptune for this one. Right. Startup stopped. Find the Barry Mule. Jane's ship, the Barry Mule, and its pilot, Eric, have gone missing. She asked me to search for the location around Triton. So there we go. Um... And actually, yeah. So we've got lots to do over in um, in Neptune. Check the star map. There's the moon. Now, I haven't landed on the moon. We may actually do that next uh, next episode for fun. But Neptune, yeah, we've got. Right? Moon of Neptune. Triton. There's something to do here, definitely, so that's good. Neptune's going to be good. So, guys, 
let's cut it there. Um, yeah, long episode. Thanks for watching. It's been a huge pleasure, and I'll catch you next time.